All right, welcome back. Um, in this one, we're going to combine our rectangle and our vector two into one file, and we're going to also add a uh, color, so we can have a class basically just for colors. So I'm going to start by uh, creating a JS file called I'll just call it framework.js, and I will open that up in my editor. And all I'm going to do is control A, copy out of rectangle, paste into the framework. Control A, copy out of vector 2. And I'm actually going to paste it above rectangle. And save my framework. Now inside of my index.html, I can get rid of one of these. And I can get rid of this one even. Uh, come up into my head of the document and I will pass framework.js up there. So uh, we have our framework set up. Um, great. So now it's ready to um, add the color. So. In between vector2 and rectangle, I'm going to add a class called color, which is equal to a function r, g, b, and a for alpha. So uh, we want to set this.r equal to, uh, let's make it start off as white. Um, so r, g, b, and A, we're just going to put 1 because it's the alpha. It'll be between 0 and 1 as a floating point number. So now, if R is not equal to null, then this.R is equal to R. If G is not equal to null, then this.G is equal to G. If B is not equal to null, this.B is equal to B. And if uh, A is not equal to null, this dot a is equal to a. Um, so that's basically almost all we need for color, but I'm going to add one more function in here that works, uh, that'll make it work better with uh, HTML5. Uh, so the format behind color, whenever you pass it into HTML5, actually goes as a string. And it goes RGB a, and then you pass in your your four values for that inside of the string. There's also a, just an RGB, I believe, and you would just pass in your three values to that. So we're going to make a function called this dot, uh, let's call it to standard. So it's equal to function, and um, we'll add a variable called full. If full, uh, or we'll say uh, no alpha if no alpha is equal to null or null no alpha or not null alpha alpha so if it's null or is false so not no alpha so it means alpha we want to uh, return a string so we want to return and let's pass in rgba Let's make our placeholder 0, 0, 0, 0, and replace each 0 with a quote plus plus quote. So we'll just copy and paste it over. And I like to add spacing into my. It's an OCD, so. Alright, so uh, first one's R, so this.R, the second one is G this.g, third one is b, this.b, last one's alpha, this.a. So we'll copy this whole thing, actually just this line, and on our else, we're going to return the same thing without the alpha. If I'm wrong about there not being an RGB function, I'm sorry, and we can just go back and delete it if it's not there. I assume it's there. I'm just used to using our GBA because I use this framework. 
So uh, there's our color. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, let's make a color as part of rectangle as just a uh, local variable. Um, so let's say this dot color is equal to new color, and we'll make it blue. So 0, 255, 0, and 1. So uh, the other numbers are between 0 and 255, as if I haven't told you already. That's why these are 255 to start to become white. So now we have our color. And then we can modify our draw function of the rectangle to not take in a color and to use the color that it is already. So we can change the context fill style and we can set it equal to this dot color and then we're going to use our two standard method two standard and that'll that'll obviously echo out this string here that uh, will make it whatever color it is in this case it is white but we won't be able to see it so um, I'll give I'll show you uh, <laughs> sorry they're all green because we set it to green here Let's set it to uh, just be white. Actually, we don't have to pass anything in for it to be white because it's already white to start. So nothing. Uh, stuff is going on, but we see nothing. So in our previous main, back in our main.js, down here we have rect.draw and we pass a color. We're going to get rid of these colors here. We're just going to modify the colors directly. We're just going to say rect dot color uh, is equal to uh, new uh, color and it'll be equal to let's see the first one let's make it red so 255 zero, zero, 001 uh, let's copy this line and paste it below our other two and just change the name to rect 3 and uh, rect 2 and this one, the second one will be blue, so 0, 255, 0, and the third one will be green. Actually, let's make the second one green. That way it says RGB. Um, I call it the second one, even though it's Rec 3, because it's the one bouncing in between, I, if I recall correctly. So let's make this 255, make this 0. Now if we reload the page, oh, I put two blues. No, I didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Um, G. I had it right the first time, huh? R G B. There we go. R G B. So our third one is this blue one that's bouncing in between. So let's say the blue one is just too blue. Let's make it uh, 0 0.5 in opacity. And this will make it fade to half opacity, as you can see here. It's not changing its color to a lighter blue. It's changing it its opacity to be lesser blue. So if I were to draw, let's keep the, let's put it back to one and let's draw a new rectangle. We'll call it rect four. And let's set its color, it, blue is fine, and we're going to overlap our first one. So we're actually gonna take in the position of the first one and we're gonna make it move uh, to 25 on the X and 25 on the Y. So it's overlapping and we're gonna put this to zero point five and we need to draw it now so rect four dot draw remember this is in order of operations so the last one draws on top of the rest so you can see definitely now that it is transparent uh, you can see it blends in with the red and you can see the defined line of the red so that's how you get and uh, that's well there we go we set up uh, a color uh, that's how you use it. Um, we use this, if we, it's a recap, we use this two standard, which calls up a string, which is just the RGBA function that goes into fill style of the context. So now we're drawing a transparent color, and we're changing the colors by a color class that we've set up, which is fairly small. So that is the, the color class. Um, gonna, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do next. I'm feeling like doing animation next. Uh, so uh, if you don't know how to draw images onto the screen and rotate them in HTML5, 
Um, I guess I could go. Uh, I can go over it. Um, in fact, I just might before I do the animation to explain it. So, uh, yes, thanks for watching. And that is the uh, color, and we combined everything into one file. We'll be working from this file from now on. So, uh, thanks for watching.